my name is Federico Obel. I just released a new album, it's called Berlin 13. This is my fourth album. My sound is always based on a mixture of uh, certain organic elements and, uh, and a lot of electronic elements. It's a balance between the two of them. We're a trio, but with, uh, with all the backing track and all the, all the stuff we're doing with Ableton, it really expands the sound of the trio a lot. Bring it down a touch. My name is Jerry Busher from Washington, D.C. I've uh, played a few different instruments, done a bunch of, I've actually done quite a bit of uh, production work and recording and soundtrack work and stuff like that as well. I grew up in Buenos Aires in Argentina. I had a band there that was very much based on, the, on electronic beats and everything. We didn't have a drummer, and we had an R8, Roland R8 drum machine that we were using for a lot of the beats. So it was there since the beginning, actually. My, my, my first experience in a recording studio was already with, with machines. This is my fourth tour with Fede. It's the first time we've really done the whole electronic side. So it took a little more, you know, just sort of thinking about it, practicing on my own. I had copies of all the backing tracks at home that I had already practiced playing with. And he also sent me the live drums that are on the record too, separated so I could hear and sort of hear, because they blend really well, I think. And actually, one of the cool things, I'm using one of the pads, that, that, that sampler has nine pads on it, and I'm using one of the pads to uh, turn the click track off, on and off, which is really great because I can just, instead of having a foot pedal or something, I can just hit it with a stick. Because there's times where a song might have a washy intro with no rhythm to it at all, so obviously I need the click to count the band in, or, I mean, there's some songs I just play with the click on, some I don't, and sometimes I'll, I can shut it off mid-song if I don't feel like I want it. So that's, that was great too, and so that's just my MIDI out of the sampler into the, the sound card. Also like Will on keyboards is, well he's, his, he's doing left hand bass on it with a Moog little fatty, it's like a, the low end sub bass, and, and he has keys too, but he's doing sounds, he's got a memory man effect pedal, and there's so some of that stuff, the keys and the effects and things, sometimes again, and we've had people that say, oh, is Will triggering the sounds? Or where did this sound come from? They can't tell if it's us or, and that's kind of cool. Like, I like that illusion of, you know, you're not really sure where, where the sounds are coming from. I mean, I'm listening to music all the time, really, and I'm, I'm paying attention to you know new stuff that comes out and everything. Lately, I've been listening to a lot of mu electronic music coming from the UK. I'm really into this uh, artist called Lone. Yeah. Lone, I like him a lot. Then this other project called Actress, very good too. I like those a lot. There's this new guy from, uh, well, not that new, but uh, he just put out a, a, a full length. He's from Detroit and he's bringing back this, this old like house, the Detroit house sound. It's called Big Strick. Very recommendable too. Sounds really dirty and gritty, yeah. For some reason, uh, it felt that until not that long ago, Latin music was like frozen in time. It was this thing that was just had been, you know, it was over and over. Traditional cumbia had been played for decades and it did never change and nobody wanted to change it. Or if somebody would want to change it, it would be like, oh, you know, it was almost like a heretic thing to do. I'm really glad that, you know, people or younger generations are using technology and uh, all the digital stuff we have these days to sort of like have a new interpretation on certain influences from that old Latin music. Otherwise, just music dies, you know, it just becomes this piece of a museum, pretty much. You know, where it's the same song it's played the same way since the 1930s. It just makes, you know, no matter how beautiful the song is, that's, that's fine, but you know, it's not, it's not going to be something that's bringing something new to the table or anything like that. I've always been recording. I always had four tracks or whatever. The, the great thing is it, it develops your ear. You learn to trust your ear, trust your taste, 
trust what you want things to sound like. And I would say one thing I notice about folks that haven't done much of it is they don't think that they know what something is supposed to sound like or if it's good or bad, and you do. Like you like music, you like the Beatles because it has a certain sound and the songs are good or this, the melodies are right. You know what, what you want to hear. You just have to practice getting to that point where you can, you know, while working, make it sound right and you just have to practice, you know. So I would just say don't, don't wait around for everyone else. To, to decide what you sound like. It's like anything else, you get better and better at it the more you do it, and just trust your ear. Nowadays, as an artist, you can, since you have so much control of the technical part, how your music sounds becomes part of, of, of your creation too. In the past, we'd be like, all right, I'm, a, I'm the songwriter, I write my songs, and then I need an engineer to record it, and in some cases, even an arranger to arrange it and everything. These days, you're the songwriter, the engineer, the arranger, you can do everything. And, uh, and I think that's very powerful, that's beautiful, that's, uh, and that's changing a lot the way we think about music and everything. In a way, every musician becomes a producer, and that's great, I love it. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.